not every mineral makeup is the same. You guys can go into Walgreens now and you can go into um, you know, any, any drugstore and buy mineral makeup, what they say is mineral makeup. But if you guys look at your ingredient label on that product, you need to really take a look at it because you really only need to have 1% of minerals in your product to call it mineral makeup. So the rest of it can be chemicals that are not good for your skin. So, and we all need to really be aware of what we're putting on our skin because there's no real cosmetic police out there to say this is good and this is bad. I mean, we have the FDA, but they mess up sometimes too. Um, one of the things to watch out for is talc. Talc is probably the most abundant mineral on earth and, and it's used very often in, in cosmetic products because it's cheap. It's a very cheap filler. So you could, you could have you know, the majority of it as talc and still be called mineral makeup. Do you guys know about micronized minerals? Micronized minerals are really, really um, uh, small particles that when you put it on your skin, it goes into your pores. Put your moisturizer on and let it fully absorb into your skin, okay? We want to look at Anna Maria's skin. And we want to say, we want to figure out what color would be best on her. So I think probably like our porcelain color would be best, um, which is, this is, this is, this is our porcelain color. So we're going to try that. We're going to take a little bit. We're going to take about that much on your brush. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Just about that much. And what you want to do is you want to just work it into the lid so that it doesn't, it goes on nice and even on the skin. Okay? So that your brush ends up looking like that. Okay? Then what you want to do is you want to go light brush strokes down the skin. You never want to go up. You want to go down with this product. Okay, just nice even brush strokes. And what you want to do is you want to, this is a buildable product, so you can put it on in layers. So the idea be behind using our mineral makeup is that when you're done, it doesn't really look like you have a lot of cakey makeup on your face. It just looks like you have nice, even toned skin. Lift your chin up just a little bit here. So the more coverage you need, just keep putting it on in layers. Can you guys see that? I'm going to turn and show everybody just so everybody can see the difference oh, yeah. from side to side, right? Doesn't look like she's wearing makeup, right? It just looks like she has really good skin. Is it good for acne prone skin? Yes, because there's no, there's no oils, there's no chemicals, and there's nothing that's going to aggravate the acne. And it also lets your skin breathe, like I was saying in the beginning, because oxygen is what heals your skin. What about getting the dust in your lungs? Um, you know what, just put a little bit on at a time. And there's been a lot of, um, a lot of people talking about that, mm -hmm. and um, mostly because Dr. Oz um, um, went on the air, and I don't know if you guys ever saw that episode of Dr. Oz, and we love him, but he's not a makeup artist. Um, he went on and he basically went like this and got about that much makeup on a brush and tried to put it on somebody's skin and it just flew all over the place. And if I did that right now, it would do the same thing. So uh, it's, it wasn't a very good demonstration. And basically the, um, his whole issue with mineral makeup was micronized minerals. And we don't use micronized minerals. Micronized minerals go into the pores. They go into your lungs, they go into your body and you can't, you can't expel them. So that was the issue with that. We don't use any micronized minerals. So what kind of chemical, I mean, so what do you use so it doesn't go into the pores? So it it's just a, a bigger size particle. Uh, yeah. So it's not, so it's small. not small enough to go into the pores. So, okay, so you guys saw that, right? One side compared to the other. So we're going to do the other side of her face now. Got it? <laughs> and then we're just going to go light brush strokes down the face. Why do you go down? Because if you go up, everybody has these little tiny hairs on their face, right? So it's going to make those um, more noticeable. It will cause static. Is it okay. long lasting? 
Yes, yeah. it'll last all day. Okay. This is this will set with the natural oils in your skin and and work just like a regular liquid foundation. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll just do a little bit of blush. This one is called Sweet Pea. Just do a little bit here. Our blush goes a long way, so all you need is a tiny, tiny bit. Would it be compatible compatible with uh, a different brand blush that you have? It could be, yeah. You could use any blush you wanted, really. But if it's a if it's a blush that has chemicals in it, it kind of defeats the purpose yeah. of using a a mineral makeup without chemicals. So, you want to put some eyeshadow on? Okay, yes. let's do it. Popular ones here. Okay, put your chin way up. What you want to do is you want to get a flat brush like this and just tap it on the eyelid and then start blending. And that kind of prevents it from falling onto the cheeks since you are using a loose powder. Without a primer. With the, I used it without a primer. You can use it with primer. Uh, when you use it with the primer, it makes the color just a little bit more intense. Okay. Are all shadows um, shimmery? Um, a lot of them are shimmery. Um, when you use the primer, it does take some of the shimmer out of it. And also, when you first put the shadow on your eyelids, it does go on a little bit more shimmery. But if you give it about 15 or 20 minutes, it kind of um, neutralizes with the natural oils of your skin as well. All right, what do you guys think? Beautiful. Looks good, good, right? Nice and natural, not too over made up, right? Your liquid foundations is with one of these sponges, okay? Don't use your fingertips, don't use a brush, use one of these sponges, that's the best thing to use. Foundation, do you set it with the powder mineral? That's what I do, yeah, it looks really good when you do that. You can use either one of those just by themselves, too. And if you get that kit with the liquid foundation and the powder one, do you like have to buy the brush or just to use like you can you you know use a natural brush don't use a synthetic brush because the natural because you're using a natural product and and the powder's light if you use a synthetic brush it kind of creates static and sort of flies all over the place can you show us how to use the makeup with the uh, primer yeah and the lip and the nail polish yeah use a brush to put the eye primer on i do i'm just using a q-tip right now close your eyes Chin way up, there we go. And I'm just gonna lightly put that on her eyelid. Create a base. This is called uh, Brown Eyed Girl. This staff. And this is a really unique color because it's a two-tone color. And this will give off the same effect as if you were using this wet. The, the eye primer causes that same effect. Can you guys see that? That it's kind of two-tone on her eyelid? It's got, I don't know if you can see from back there, but it's got a little bit of a greenish sort of turquoise brownish color to it. And when you get up close to her, you'll see that every time the light hits it, it kind of changes color. So that's, that's what the eye primer will do. It'll give off more of an intense color, and it also makes it waterproof and super long-lasting. Okay, that's without the primer. So if you see that, it's just a little bit less intense, and it also will change a little bit by the end of the day. So this is giving off more of the two-tone effect on her left side. And the right side's just a little bit less. Okay. I'll put a little bit of primer over that just so it kind of evens it out, and then we'll put some more powder on.
And if you get a little bit on your face like I just did, just use your brush. Whisk it off. Let's show you the um, nail polish. Connie's going to be my um, nail polish model here. And we are going to use a really bright, beautiful color, turquoise. So basically, you just dip the color. Take your clear nail polish, dip it into the powder. And you can paint it on your nails just like that. Let's see. I just used a bright color so you guys could see it. Yeah. Cool. I have a little bit of aloe gel. I'm going to put some glitters on. Is that okay if I put glitter on your eyelid? eyelids? Okay. Yeah. So this is cosmetic glitter, which is different than the glitter you're going to find at the craft store. Don't ever put glitter from the craft store on your face or your eyes, okay? It's all, that's all metal. This is not metal. You don't want to put that metal stuff on your eyes. So I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm just putting a little bit of this um, aloe vera gel just to make a base for the glitter. And that makes it stick. Put your chin way up so you don't get it over your face. And you can just kind of keep layering it on till it's almost solid glitter here on her on her eyelid. <coughs> don't open your eyes yet. Make sure it dries. And a little bit so it dries. Does that feel like it's drying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Show everybody. It's cool, right? Yeah. 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 Alright, right, so we'll do her other eye now. basically just painting it in, okay? And this is dry. If you want it to stay and give you a little bit of a longer lasting effect, you will just put a little bit of hairspray over it. Will that last all day too? Yeah, it'll last until you brush it out. And it'll last even longer, like I said, if you put a little bit of hairspray in. Yeah, absolutely. Probably have to put a little bit of gel or something on the eyebrows to make it stay. And you can also use a little bit of, um, you can also mix this with hair gel and do the same thing, although I like to use it dry. Can you guys see that? Yes. Kind of fun, huh? Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything too crazy. I, I noticed that you already had a little bit of highlight, so oh, this yeah. is a, <laughs> just a nice little addition to your... Oh, cool. I like kind of cool, right? Yeah. It was like another color and you wanted to do the same type of thing on dark hair, like let's say a blue or yeah. a blue. It would show up? Yeah, absolutely. If somebody... It's kind of a turquoise blue. Can you guys see that? It's a nice little blue streak. You want another color too? Purple. How about if I do like a bright gold, like a bright yellow instead? Because that always shows up really good on darker hair. I'll just go right next to it. 